I am Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations and I'm making sure that my phone's sound is off so it doesn't blow up in y'all's ears. And uh, in today's live stream, we are working on some chain mail. And I, I just, my cord doesn't reach, so we'll do that in a little bit. Hey, art girl. Hey, Karen. How are y'all doing? Getting a few more things situated. Y'all, it is, it's hot outside today. Like, it is sweaty. It is downright sweaty. <laughs> Hey Lisa, how are you doing? And also, I think this side of my hair grows faster than this side of my hair. Because this one's going, whoo, but that's fine. It's fine. It's the away from camera side of my head, so it works. Hey Pamela, it has been a minute. How are you doing? <laughs> hey JC, hey Cosmic. I'm putting it to where, let's see live chat for everybody there we go hey stephanie hey star <laughs> it's good to hear hey hawk i'm telling you it's hot here in oklahoma and this hawk does not like it same like we're running all of our air conditioners and it's still like 80 degrees in the house but it's just like like the walls are radiating heat so we're we're working on it oh shoot randy we never got the kiln loaded <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> well, I'm just going to keep yelling into the void until he... <laughs> hey, Connie, how are you doing? Honestly, we didn't need to be running the kiln right now anyways. It's like too hot for that crap. But we do have two kilns now, so I'm super excited to be able to uh, kind of get that going. Like, a, do you want to do a load of dicro? In little blue? Yeah, I can. That'd be awesome. I think I already have everything all chunked for you. Okay. I love them. Okay. Um, hey Brenda, hey Leslie, hey Jennifer. Gosh, there's just a whole bunch of folks in here today. How are y'all doing? Hey B. <laughs> okay, I am gonna go ahead and get this flipped around. Um, and we are gonna get to work because we have a bunch of chain mail to work on today which I have found does not bother my hands the way that wire wrapping does so I'm gonna be leaning into that for a minute <laughs> so, horrible tripod noises incoming there we go and I can see all y'all's comments there on the screen oh, happy birthday Amy hey what you know it's hot and muggy also smoking from Canada oh my gosh oh my gosh Ooh, wrapping up some cauldrons and pumpkins. Yeah, I'm ready for spooky season, like, ASAP. So, I'm making a, a whole bunch of these for this week's inventory production. Because so far, for inventory, Randy has gotten three bracelets made, and I've gotten three necklaces made. And that's it. So, ooh, Leslie says, yay, I'm doing chain mail today, too. Getting everything all situated. Hello, person spamming emojis. <laughs> so, no. But yeah, so uh, we're actually going to be releasing a tutorial on this design as well uh, that actually got recorded this morning. So it has been a super productive day. I've already got all the bead loops, like the bead links made. And I'm just going to come through. Where, where are you in there? You shouldn't be in there. And if you're already familiar with chainmail, I'm just weaving Byzantine units into a Romanov design. And if you're not familiar with chainmail, that's alright. We got you. We're just grinding egg shells for the garden before working on another dream capture. I'm working on making some tree sculptures with deer antlers. Oh man. That sounds like a really good day. Minus the hot and muggy, which you know. Two, three, four. There's a fifth ring. Six, seven, and eight. 
And I'm just going to set up for doing one at a time, even though when it's all said and done, we will have 31 of these. Ah, uh, the AC is working good. Good. <laughs> oh, rain is on the way. That'll be good, B. Ooh, seed bead native bracelets. Right on. Hey, Linda. Hey, Itzy. We're doing real well. Like, I'm having an exceptionally good day, actually. It's just... I can breathe through both of my nostrils. Like, I'm just, I don't know, It today's the kind of day where it's really easy to be grateful for every little thing. And so I am just soaking that in. There's four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And then... We're going to close six. Two. Three. So I'm using 10 millimeter beads. And the chain mill is very particular with this, with getting the things to be the right size. So we're using 10 millimeter beads, and I have them strung up on 18 gauge um, wire, and that is 18 American wire gauge. Um, and then, but you could use 20 or even 16 gauge as well, it just depends. I like the 18 because it's sturdy enough. Actually, the 16 gauge might be a little too thick because I don't want it taking up too much space there in between the other rings. Um, but yeah, you could totally get away with the 20 gauge. <clears throat> But the rings that I'm using are 18 gauge standard wire gauge, 3 16th inch, and that's inner diameter. And if you don't use chicken nuggets, the it's 1.2 millimeter wire, and the inner diameter is 4.8 millimeters. Woo! Randy used to do the eggshell smushing for me. Uh, we have a little... Um, like brown marble uh, mortar and pestle that was our, fa our favorite and Randy would just sit there and we'd be watching anime or something and uh, he'd just smash up all of our eggshells. Uh, hey Anita! <laughs> Star says, oh my gosh it's chainmail, I love it. Good. I'm very excited to be back to chainmail because like right now I squeeze this hand is mostly through these sides so it's still relaxed like I'm still nice and relaxed and no pain in uh, the top of my hand which has been doing really well but I'm still trying to not push it um, I buy most of my rings actually from Chainmail Joe if it's bright aluminum I get it from Chainmail Joe they've got the best quality and the best prices and I just get them off of Amazon by the pound uh, bag or half pound depending on the size of the rings. I also really recommend and enjoy the kits from American Chainmail. Then anything that I'm not getting from those two folks, I just get from the Ring Lord. Though it has been, gosh, a long time since I have purchased from the Ring Lord just because I had bought so many rings last time and then there was like a pandemic, so I didn't really make a whole lot. We do, uh, we used to make all of our own chainmail rings, but um, that was quite hard on my hands, and also there were supply line issues. I wasn't able to purchase new saw blades. So that nipped that right in the bud. Okay, so you can see here, we have four closed and two closed, and then eight open, and I've got that twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this ring. And also, if y'all have any questions, it does not have to be about chain mail or anything like that. Or if you have any talking points that you're like, hey, talk about blah, 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 like questions about, you know, we try to keep it crafty, but like there's, there's a pretty broad spectrum of things to talk about within the uh, realm of craftiness, uh, which does also include gardening and who knows what else. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, feel free to ask questions while we craft because chainmail is definitely something that my hands are paying more attention to what I'm doing than I am. So I'm actually kind of able to keep up with chat today. Maybe, we'll see. So we're making a little tutu chain. 
and again if you just if you just wandered in um we we do have a tutorial on this design coming out so if it's grainy or if you missed something um we have a full like real-time in-depth tutorial hey iris so sorry i've been gone very distracted making some cardboard dioramas right on that sounds fun <laughs> Runaway Camper says, what's your second helper doing? There, there we, uh, we haven't heard much from her. Maddie actually spent most of the morning, um, washing cabs for us. We've been working her to death, y'all. So I think she might be playing The Sims today. Um, but she's also, she and Randy took care of take, shipping out some, uh, subscriptions and orders this morning. Ooh, which by the way, everybody, um, if you're interested in getting the kit for June's, um, like we just shipped out all of the subscriptions. So if you're interested in getting June's kit and you missed out on it, we do have them up for sale on our website, backtoearthcreations.com. Um, and, uh, today is the last day to be able to purchase for June's kit because otherwise those cabs are going to be getting put into other things. So, uh... Ooh, Star says, do you market your website? Uh, how do you mean? Because if you mean, like, do we pay for ads? No, I don't bother paying for ads. Um, I feel like if I were to pay for ads, I'd need a much better website to make it worth, like, uh, to make it worth that. Um, but, like, we, you know, every social media post that I do in some roundabout way does redirect folks back to our website. Um, whether it's for signing up for our free newsletter or checking out what's new in our shop update or yeah no I don't I don't pay for any ads or anything um, but Randy and I I feel like are very uniquely blessed in that we do have y'all here on YouTube um, and so that's kind of where like I don't pay for ads I make my own and then blast them on the internet <laughs> so but um that's in no way dissing paid ads, though. It's just something that I've never uh, branched out into. Oh, right on, Iris. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, uh, hey, Valerie. <laughs> Beast is love, that muscle memory. Same. Ooh, Pamela says gardening. I got candy cherry tomatoes planted. How's, how is it supposed to grow, tall or wide? A lot of it depends on how you train it and how you prune it, Pamela. Because when tomatoes are growing, they'll send up kind of like their main stem and then they'll send out a branch and then you'll get these like little suckers that like, like if this is the main stem and that's the branch, the little sucker will start going and growing out of there. And if you leave all of those, you're going to get a much bushier, wider plant. Whereas if you like pinch them out, um, I prefer to train my tomatoes personally upright. That way I can pick them while I'm standing instead of like hunched over. Um, it's just, I've got way more vertical space in my garden than I do wide space because we're only on like a quarter of an acre in the house and driveway take up most, most of it. But a lot of it depends on the variety that you've planted as well. Do you know if it's an indeterminate or determinate variety? Because the determinate ones, they'll grow and then kind of set their fruit and then that's, that's it. Whereas the indeterminate ones, they'll just keep growing and producing until the frost gets them. Ah, uh, hey Ramblin' Brambles. It says, hi everyone, perfect timing. I just got done setting up six projects to set down and do, and here you are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> she says, oh, because they are crazy, they are. Ah, uh, yeah, small gardens rock, though. Um. Ooh, yeah, Valerie says, I ordered a day or two ago and got the $50 kit. Do you think uh, it'll get any red or orange? Yes, we actually, we just fulfilled your package, Valerie. So we know for a fact you've got the uh, the reds and oranges and stuff. Hey, Dee Dee. <laughs> hey, Misty, how are you doing today? Tiny tiny. Those are so yummy, though. Okay, so we've got our little segments here, and I'd zoom in, but uh, I'd hate to go out of frame. Ooh, Witch and Gnome says, we promote and direct people to your YouTube at every event. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Love talking about how you've inspired us to make the amazing cabs I've wrapped up. Oh, 
But you know, that's that's awesome. Thank you. So now we're gonna do some boop boop. So we butterfly it and then I'm just folding those sides down and then open that like that. And again I realize it's grainy or pixelated or bleh. that's why we're doing a tutorial of it. Coming soon. <laughs> oh, Dee Dee this is my husband and I walked our dog this morning and we got back to the house to see my first tomato on the ground from a squirrel. So peed off. I bet. You know what goes good with tomatoes? Squirrel. <laughs> All right, on. Oh. Thank you, baby. Well, thank you, Maddie. I did stop. You've been working all day. Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought. Every time I've seen you, I've been like, hey, Maddie, do this. And you're like, okay. I was working all day to me. So. I also took a huge nap. So. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Sleeping's important. We can work you harder if you're well slept. Oh, that's true. <laughs> like... mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jennifer says, just turned a bunch of raspberries into a smoothie with milk and vanilla ice cream. That sounds really good. Do you leave the seeds in or do you strain it? Because Randy likes it when I leave the seeds in because he just sits there and chews on them. Oh no, Pamela says, yeah, my first jalapeno disappeared. Well, I hope it burnt their little squirrel mounds. <laughs> I mean, not to be hating towards squirrels or anything because we've got two in the backyard that I keep bribing with uh, peanuts to be like, please don't eat my... Because I don't know if they like... Have you seen my gourds recently? I mean... That's not a euphemism. It's like my literal gourds. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I saw them the last time I toured the garden. I've got like three more. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so I'm like panicking that the squirrels are going to be like, I've never had gourd before. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll look at them from the, uh, the bathroom window. I'll get pictures and show them to you. Okay, so That'll be good. <laughs> but I'm bribing the squirrels and they tease Millie when I take her out into the back. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, everybody. There's Maddie. Oh, hey, Yvette. She says, only thing I'm growing is mold and a bad attitude. Flavor. <laughs> Mwah, chef kiss. <laughs> Squirrel and fried green tomatoes sounds like lunch. <laughs> <laughs> April's like, Squirrel actually is tasty. <laughs> And B-Mars says, hate those tree rats. We still, we've got bullet holes <laughs> in the upstairs bathroom window from, it was just like one of those CO2 guns. Uh, but Fred, before we moved here, my bonus dad, Fred, was just sitting there and he was shooting at the squirrels through the window. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah. They're fun to watch, except for when it... Ah, Runaway Camper says, Squirrels will not eat gourds. Well, I'm going to keep bribing them, just in case. Okay, so the next step is I open up the bead link, which I made all of these while we were hanging out in the living room last night, because it was, man, the house was just hot. So we, like, blared the air conditioner as much as we could, and everybody got into, like, the... Not the smallest room in the house, but the second smallest... And we had that window unit just go in and like two other fans, like these little clip-on fans that we use. Um, and we just sat there. <laughs> and I think, what movie did we watch last night? We watched, I don't recall, let me think. <sighs> I'm taking this off, I'm not walking around right now anyways. And I can just feel the sweat <laughs> underneath it. We watched The Conjuring, which I think is my new absolute favorite scary movie in the whole wide world. It was intense. Did you enjoy watching The Conjuring together, Maddie? I did. It was nice. I've seen it. Like, I had a, a blast. Ago. I hid behind Randy so much. It was good. Did you have any nightmares? Yes. Oh. Like, I woke Randy up and I was like, Randy, I was cute. Oh, <laughs> well, because my closet was open and it was like super ultra dark just the same way the movie was. No, it, it wasn't. 
but no, um, but it's just, I don't know, it's a perfect opportunity to be like, hold me, Randy. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he turned on Bob's Burgers and I passed out, so oh, okay. it was fine. I'll but be the, fine. This is why he was like, "No, we have to turn it off because she'll have nightmares." And I was like, yeah. "No, really, no. <laughs> and, yeah. It was so much fun to watch, though. I would never in my life watch it by myself, though. Like, it's if it were, good, if yeah. it was, if it was just me in like this house, <laughs> all by myself, yeah. like, no, uh, not I'd a chance. Up. Not even a little chance, unless somebody paid me a bunch of money. And then I would probably do it. But I'd still be scared. <laughs> and then we just... Like, that's the caveat at a whole lot of my, like, personal stipulations. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, not a chance in heck. And it's like, but what about if we give you a bunch of money? Well, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there we go. That is... Hey, Brooke, how's it going? That is how we make one of those. And if you missed it, that's okay. I'm making another. Do you have The Sims downloaded? Yeah, I think it's downloaded. I'm gonna go with Rain Tip Post Office. Oh, okay. Y'all getting any iced coffee? Well, I don't know. Well, if you guys do, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe. Well, maybe. I'm actually a little interested in getting the iced coffee that we accidentally got last time, and then just putting more cream in it here at home, because that's bigger. That's true. Do you want, do you, if, if, hypothetically, uh -huh. if we were to go, uh -huh. do you want a coffee or a latte? I don't know, the lattes are really good, but the, the coffees are bigger. Yeah. But then you gotta, like, spruce it up. Maybe just a little bit of cream. Which we got? I want the, I want the coffee. Okay. Well, if we happen to go, I think I'll get the latte. Oh, okay. And then we can taste test. I'll put the creamer in mine and you can see what you like better. Yeah. Can I have a sip of yours to see if I oh, like? Yeah. Okay, science. It's yeah. for science. Yeah. Now we have to go. Yeah. Hypothetical well, science. Well, yeah, I guess we might have to go. I have to talk to the, to the driver. To the driver. To the Wendy. <laughs> oh, um, the cones. I got. Okay, I got these. Oops, I got these. I got these guys <laughs> from Amazon in a mixed kit. And I think I got these off of like AliExpress or Michaels. I'm not entirely certain. Hey Maria, hey Mary Hart. <laughs> but uh, you could hang anything that you want off of the ends of them though. But the only thing I watch out for with the bail is I want one that has a bail that's like this, like a loop, as opposed to one that's like this. Let me, I can actually grab an example. I have them right here. My hand's doing a lot better. Like, I even helped Randy lift the kiln um, to get it moved in and no pain or anything. Now, I've been coddling it, but, um, oh, Lord. No, what's the wrong spot? Okay. But, yeah, whenever, I, for this design in particular, I want a bale that has the loop like this as opposed to a loop like this just because it hooks on so naturally to the little loop that's on there. <laughs> they might have them at Walmart. There's a lot of there's a lot of good sources of those. I try to get ones that aren't too heavy, but also they've got some that feel kind of plasticky, like if they're too lightweight, they um they feel cheap somehow. Like it it doesn't quite lay right, like it'll get tangled in my boobs. Whereas these ones, they've got a nice weight to them. They can hold up against some. Anyways. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Lynn says my dog has a bowl of apples in the kitchen. And a squirrel came in and grabbed one right in front of him. And then left. He's still mad. Is it my apples? Dee Dee says Alone was on last night. What season? Is it season 9 or 10? Of Alone. And are they streaming it, or do you have to have, like, live TV? Probably live TV. Bleh. No spoilers. It's probably going to be a year before I see the new season. Yep. I've already put in my order with Maddie for what iced coffee I want. Oh, really? <laughs> if, are we getting iced coffee? If you would like to get iced coffee. If, if there's orders for it, I guess I better get it. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
I love you, baby. Well, I'll be doing that in the break in between. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Going to the post office or? Mm -hmm. Right on. But don't they close at 4.30? It's Friday. <gasps> it's not 5 p.m. It's not. It's 2.27 in the afternoon. Yeah, well, hot dog. I just got a good chunk of my day back. <laughs> well, hey, guys. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Let me see. Okay. Thank you, Maddie. If I need anything, I'll, I'll just holler until one of y'all comes and helps. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see. Ooh, April says, how would you finish the bottom if you didn't hang something from it? I would still use this 16 gauge one, uh, one fourth inch ring, which is 1.6 millimeters and 6.4 millimeter inner diameter. So the wire is 1.6 mil. <laughs> I feel like I had missed some comments. Ooh, right on. Yeah, I really like Y Files' breakdown of, um, ooh, what's up? A, a Y Files breakdown of the, you know, behind the conjuring. Still scrolling through trying to catch up on comments. Oh my gosh. Rambling says, I loved The Conjuring. I have them both, and I'm needing a horror movie fest, but I don't have anything to cuddle anymore except my stuff. Elvis singing unicorn. Well, that's... What do you need other than that? Like, that sounds like it <laughs> is awesome. Um, right on, Iris. Okay. Mmm, gotcha. Anne says, keep coddling, for sure. Uh... Art Girl, yes, Big Blue arrived yesterday. Yes, yesterday. We have red squirrels on the Isle of Wight. They are protected. Beautiful to watch them in the gardens feeding on peanuts. Red squirrels are gorgeous. <laughs> right, Iris? Uh, Nicole says, hey, can you add grooves to Labradorite? Sometimes. A lot of it depends on the thickness of the piece and the inclusions. Um, on like the stone because some stones will be like uh, this one is not a good example but you can see it, it we wouldn't cab something like we wouldn't groove something like this but if you pretend with me for a moment that it's flat backed you can see this kind of cluster of veining right there maybe you can see um, I feel like if we were to groove that there's a big chance of that popping off whereas just here on its own it's fine but I wouldn't want to risk by adding a groove most of all of the cabochons like gemstone cabochons on our website we do not have a groove option for um, just because we've been having such a high rate of them breaking and many of them are too thin or less than ideal anyhow so what I've been doing is I set aside all the ones that are a good candidate um, for grooving and we'll do like one big upload of grooved cabochons. <laughs> Brooks says the return of the big blue king, right? Uh, and it's just like I'm at peace again. That my big kilns over there were able to run two a day now. Um, why do I want to call your husband Rusty? <laughs> hey, Shell. I don't know. It's Randy though, but that's okay. He had a dog named Rusty. Wow, Brooke says we have so many chipmunks here, way more than I ever saw at home. First time I ever got bit by a wild animal was a chipmunk, and I was just saving him from the cat. So, <laughs> mouth fart noises. All right. So we're going to open two sets of eight. And these are the 18 gauge, 3 16 inch. Ah, April says my order arrived safely yesterday and the beads are gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad, April. I hope every time whenever I send out a package that it's not, like, going to get crushed under the wheel of, like, some delivery truck or, like, <laughs> but it's, like, got to wrap them in bubble wrap and send them out into the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh no, Heather says, hi y'all. I was trying to ream out a hole for leather and busted the top of my nice black striped agate. Now I have to watch all your tutorials for bezels. Oof. <laughs> if there's a crafter, there's a way you can do it. Ooh, Diane says, Vaughn, have you seen the ring with grooves for opening jump rings? Thought it might relieve stress on your left hand. I have, and I actually have one of those for a while. It hurts my knuckles. Because, like, the none of the sizes, like, they fit Randy well. Those rings do. But even the small one uh, just didn't quite fit my hand correctly. And it's, I do all my gripping uh, for the chain mail with kind of my pinky. So, because you can see I, I use these front fingers for uh, picking up rings. So, my hand's not stressed at all. And I am keeping a very close eye on it, but I appreciate you guys. Right? Take some ice packs and just put it, like, are you wearing your suspenders? No. You could, like, hook an ice pack onto your suspenders. And... No. Oh. Well, that's what I, I put them in my bra when I go out and about. If it's real hot outside. <laughs> just because I'm, I'm not putting myself through that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right on, Brooke. Practice makes progress. Brooke had said, I'm amazed that you can just work with bare pliers. I scratch the crap out of my wire and rings unless all my tools are well coded in tool magic. Now, tool magic is some handy stuff, too, though. But I had started out using it, but I would wear through it so quickly that um, I just... I got tired of having to reapply it and then having to wait for it to dry. Now, if I were working with something like very small, like enameled copper, I may go through the, the trouble of a... What you call it? Dipping my tools. <laughs> Heather says, has married life ruined you guys yet? Yo, Wandy! You still like me? He reckons so. Yeah, we're good. No, I'm still tickled pink to be married to him. Like, actually, okay, not to brag, but I woke up to, like, the most romantic thing this morning. Like, because, like, it's been just hot and muggy and tired and bills and, you know, blah, blah, etc. life. But, uh, and I wake up, like, whether I want to or not, or not at seven. Um... <laughs> every morning which I'm like used to it's like you'd be lucky if you caught me awake before 10 a.m. but like I had rolled over and like hugged Randy and he like hugged me real good back and he and he like was started telling me about a dream that he had had that was like parallel universes and all kinds of just like really whacked out stuff like very interesting but then he was like and he was all like sleepy not awake yet when he was saying it and but he had hugged me and he was like we find each other in every universe and i was like yeah <laughs> oh really oh no well i'm gonna choose to perceive it how i want so <laughs> y'all hear that ass <laughs> that is not how it was coming across yeah it was so i, I think i think that's what a big part of why I'm having such a good day today is because it's just everything may not have worked out the way that we had planned it when we were 17 but I feel like I'm living the kind of life that any alternate universe of myself would be like good job Vaughn you're doing good like I don't have the most much oh, I'm stepping on a ring um <laughs> ow like, all kinds of shit's gone sideways, a bunch of uh, stuff I'm trying to cut less. This one's in my foot. Yeah, I'm still gonna use it. Have you seen my AirPods? Your what? My AirPods. AirPods? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. They weren't on your table this morning whenever I moved all your stuff into your chair and stole your table. Okay. I don't know where they are. Millie? Did you eat Maddie's AirPods? Would they still Bluetooth sync? Yeah, can you ping? Yeah, but like, it don't work. It's, that's kind of if you lose a bud. Oh, the, okay. Yeah, not the whole container. But I can see their location. Oh, well thank much. you, Valerie. 
yeah and it's I don't know it was super sweet and it just like it got me in just the right headspace Ooh. rambling says I have jewelry zipper bags with ice cubes in them and do the same when I'm set up at vendor events keeps you cooler it sure does <laughs> Robin says, I hate just walk into the car and getting eat by mosquitoes. Right? And the heat does not seem to slow them down, does it? If anything, they're just thirsty. It's hot enough outside, actually, that I think it would be a cool and refreshing drink for them to have some human blood. <laughs> just fresh from the source. Just, mm. <laughs> Well, it's time for us to clean the house anyways, if Maddie's losing her air buds. Like, I know the living room upstairs is an absolute wreck. From, we did like a puzzle and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, all sorts of stuff's gone sideways, but gratitude improves my attitude for darn tootin'. Opening up the rings and then going like this. Man, I tried to fill up Millie's little pool that our friend Stephanie had gotten us, and something had chewed holes, like in three spots of it from where it was folded, and something must have gotten to the bin with it, but I don't know why they'd have chewed on it, it's just a pool, but I was going to get Millie's pool set up so she could do a splish splash. Opening these up. Yeah, are they out in the van, Maddie? Hmm. Is that what you were outside looking for? Yeah. You're a good egg, honey. Yeah. Okay, so there's that one. And then let's do an opalite one next. I'm gonna open that one. Hook that through both rings right in the middle of the Byzantine unit. So what are y'all working on today? <laughs> Probably squirrels. Is, do you, oh, you're painting? Yeah. Well, nice, baby. Okay, well, hey, honey. While you're up there, do you want to bring down the folding chairs and the four-foot table? Thank you. Now that we're done with that uh, thousand-piece <laughs> jigsaw puzzle, um, that'll open up some space in the living room. Ooh, Heather's just showered all the horses off yesterday. The dried sweat just ran off like white milk. Oh my gosh. I bet the horses just loved that. Oh, Kim says, hey everybody. Hey Kim. I just got the square lab I ordered and I knew it would be nice, but way more gorgeous in person. I love it. Oh, I'm so glad. When art girl's working on watercolor, 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 watercolors, right on. Ooh, April says, I'm helping my mom move in Be More. What's Be More? Making sure it's straight, and then Baltimore. Ooh, right on. Oh, that's such a beautiful area. I'm going to have to rain that. I'll just set it down and pick up another one. <laughs> Sherry says happy Friday everyone. Hey Sherry. A slow Friday afternoon so I'm glad to get to listen in. Well we're glad to have you. Keeping us company. I'm sitting here with my little clip on fan blowing on my feet. Just making some chain mail. Well heck I thought I had a bead reamer in here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm see if this nail file will work. Woo! Anne says, practicing setting up my tables for a two-day county show next weekend. Putting out my displays and filling them up. Got one week. Woo! This is a good time to do it, though, because you still got a little bit of time before, like, uh, kind of the 
you know, to, it, like, if you're super short in one thing, you could still get it prepped, you know? That would be good, though. Yeah, that was just not going to fit. Ooh! Oh, Jennifer, that sounds wicked cool. Hopefully this one will work. It's a, a puzzle in the shape of a dragon with a variety of different dragon images within the shape. It actually sounds really cool. Oh no, this one's not working either. Well, heck, I guess I'm going to have to... In today's episode of Will It Fit? That one will. That one will. Ooh, that one will. That one will. That one won't. Oh no. That one will. That one will. Yeah, I'm gonna make a pile to uh, set out to be dream. That one won't. That one will. That one will. That one will. That one won't. That one won't. Catching myself clenching on the uh, pliers. That one will. Thanks for hanging out, Angie. That one won't. That one will. Any luck with the... No. Really? I'm pretty sure they're down here. Oh, okay. That one won't. That one will. Man, I remember... Was that the first summer you came and stayed, Maddie? That we lost your phone? Uh, yeah. Like, right here? Like, it, it slid down. Chair. Yep. It, that was, well. Your AirPods aren't there, are they? No, well, I've checked, but I'm pretty okay. sure they're Because ever since then, that's my first place to look for yeah. stuff. <laughs> like, just to be like, because we know. scoured the house. I was freaking out. Pulling beds away from the walls, everything. I think that was before we had the cover. Like, the cover now keeps it from... Yeah, slipping down in there. So I'm going to have to ream out 11 beads. That's not the end of the world. Okay, so let me go get my bead reamer, and we'll do some bead reaming. Put that through there. Putting another little, and you could also probably make some really cool little drops out of like polymer clay or something too. Because I'd wanted to make some lamp work like teardrop pins. Um, but it's hot. I didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> oh goodness. Probably will be 101 at least under some trees. Oof. Okay, so there's another one. I will be right back, y'all. We don't know the just the whole thing. Oh, we're gonna be right there in the yoga hammock. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to show the sticker? Do y'all want to see? Well, I'm going to show you anyways, whether you want to or not. This is July's sticker <laughs> that Maddie drew for us this month, which I think she just did a beautiful job, you guys. Like, look at all that detail. But yeah, that's going to be the sticker for in our booty box. It's not going to be this big. We gotta be able to fit it in the box. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it's probably gonna be up to two inches wide. So that's the sticker. 
You want maybe should we have you sign them? Nah, okay, nah, that's okay. All right, right on. Just know that I'm the hookup for the stickers. <laughs> she does really good. Well, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Leslie says that's gorgeous. Oh, uh, Heather, I got the dagger drops either from AliExpress or Michael's. I can't recall, but I know that both of them carry it. Hey, Gavin, how are you doing? What makes little hearts go up on the screen? Like, do you see? Uh -huh. What is that? Uh -huh. What's going on? Uh -huh. I don't know, but it makes me really happy. Whoever did that, do it again. <laughs> Ooh, there's another one. Woo! Well, woo, thank you, Arthur. Woo, woo! Oh my gosh, you're so... Woo, woo! Ah, and then, what's happening? <laughs> it's going off! Um, is it this? I don't know. Am I making it happen? Oh, is it people... No, I thought that was just... Where if... Huh. Ooh, the hundred. Hundred percent. It has a little thingy on the side for you to click. For you to click. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's from, from mobile. I don't know, they're sending a bunch of emojis and it makes me real happy. <laughs> I'm a simple creature. It's okay. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Ooh, right there. Itch it like it owes you money. <laughs> Down just a little. Oh, my God. And you have the best fingernails for back scratch. I'm sorry. <laughs> You, you go have fun okay. painting and stuff. I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> it's like confetti without the mess. Yep. Oh my god, y'all. Like, I can't even. It's going. <laughs> Misty says, I'm doing it on my computer. Oh my gosh. Misty says, oh my god, I am jealous. I love back scratches and rubs. That's like part of my love language. Is a... Uh, just giving back scratches because it's like man they're good because I don't care who you are I know we've got one thing in common at least and that's the spot we can't reach on our back <laughs> so I'm just reaming out and I'm like super jank because like y'all this is my back scr I use the end of my knitting needle, like the metal handle part, to, uh... Oh, YouTube features to copy TikTok. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's still, it is just going. <laughs> Ooh, right on, Misty. Oh my god. Michelle says, yeah, we're enjoying the cooler weather today. 93 feels like 99. <laughs> I know. Reaming, reaming, reaming. Do, 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 do. I hope this works. Heat wave, it feels in my area. Oof, that seems to be a lot of places. Lots of folks are having heat waves, and I was here with it like, you know, mid 80s in my backyard being like, hee hee, but it's caught up with us. Ooh, it's <laughs> Misty says I have some broccoli and cauliflower cheddar soup simmering. That sounds delicious on the stove and some cornbread baking in the oven. It's hot, but wanted it right. Oh, Michelle, that is a good point. Says it's better than 104. Feels like 115. Yeah. A wired back scratcher. You know, I think you're right. Ooh, Pamela says, lucky me, it's in the 70s here and has been raining. Odd for the Atlanta area, right? A long-handled fork to get to the hard-to-reach areas. <laughs> yes. But yeah, you can tell it's working because my fingies are getting dirty. Wow, Leslie says that in Ohio it hasn't even passed 90. Oof. Yeah, I went out and gave the chickens their uh, melon rinds and some leftovers that were... They haven't turned yet because if, if the leftovers turn, I bury them. But if they're just like getting a little like crusty, 
uh, I give them to the chickens. Oh. oh, right on. Oh, the little hand on the end. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go wash my hand because otherwise I am going to rub this into my eyeballs. I will be right back. That was my chair, I promise. Teresa says it is 111 here in Arizona. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I bet, Iris. 91, but no wind feels bad in the garage with the door wide open. <laughs> right? Like, we're actually going to be making a roast, I think, tomorrow. <laughs> That's perfectly reasonable, right? Okay, so I'm. Oh, yes, that fit. If you're hearing bone crunching noises, that's just Millie crunching bones. Two. Oh, that makes me happy. I don't know where she got it from. Coincidentally, our neighbors are quieter. <laughs> crunching bones. Look at the bones. Ooh, yeah. I would love that. Dude, I would love to go and, like, meet up at, like, the uh, Tucson, the gem shows and stuff, or a gem show. It doesn't have to be the gem show. There's plenty of other stuff going on that, like, lots of other stuff going on that weekend. But, yeah, just that little bit of bead reaming. Got all of these ready to, uh, get threaded. And these are all already woven together because it was, like, the trimmed off extra end of some other project. Ooh, Misty says I was super spoiled living in Tucson almost for 10 years with the Bead and Gem show. They sold glass rods and frit there too. Ooh. Ooh. Goodness. Oh, making swordfish steaks and filet on the grill tonight for his birthday. Oh, that sounds delicious. I think we're having palm heart spaghetti for dinner, which is delicious. Like, I like heart of palm just as a vegetable, so it's not like I'm, like, sad that there's not noodles in it because it's, it's delicious. Um, and I think Maddie was going to make the spaghetti sauce, but we'll have to reconvene and see if she's still filling up to that. Ah, oh, Teresa, that's beautiful. Okay. So let's get some more of these rings going. Hey, Benjamin, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, Al, how's it going? This is what up? Not a whole lot. Just weaving rings. Trying to stay cool, but complaining about it anyways. <laughs> mm 
<laughs> Heather says, do you rice it or just chop it up? Um, I use it out of a can. It's the Palmini Heart of Palm Noodles. And I think the Linguini cut is my favorite. Well, I don't know. It's, I got like, working in the heat right on. Ooh, Anna says 2024's Tucson Gem Show is scheduled for the end of January, beginning of February, when it's much cooler than now. <sighs> I'm going to have to check my calendar and see if we can make that work. Because that would be really cool. Oh, I'm doing real well, Benjamin. I'm enjoying the heck out of myself today. I just know Yvette's doing something where she's counting stitches. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Hundo in ten today. Gross. This is gross. I hope you're staying cool. Like, it's a... Don't underestimate heat stroke, y'all. That is no joke. What are y'all eating? Where'd you even get... Who found sweet potatoes? Mm. Millie and Z just ran in here fighting over a bit of sweet potato. I don't know. It must have been on the floor. Maddie saw me almost have an accident and spill the whole thing of sweet potatoes this morning. I must have missed one. Yee! Little button going wild. Mm hmm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and close. And the Tucson show is amazing, but just it's not just gem and mineral and beads. There's lamp work there too, with supplies for that. Probably confusing too, but not sure. Right on. Hey, Christina, how's it going? Hmm, gotcha, Heather. Yeah. I wonder how much it is to rent a venue just to teach, like if there's a Joann's in the area that weekend or something in Tucson that I could rent out and uh, teach a class or something if I'm in the area. Aw, now I only have pigs, but they are still fun. Right on. I've never kept pigs, but I've always wanted to. Like, I love the unique challenges and joys of uh, animal husbandry. Because it's like, I love gardening, but like, plants don't talk much. <laughs> And it's really fun to feed chickens, so. It adds some, uh, some fun interactions, especially when nothing else is growing. Man, this heat's probably going to sterilize my squash flowers. <laughs> Yeah, Maddie's still with us, Christina. She and Randy are painting. Uh, they're paint by numbers right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess I chain mailed too hard. <laughs> Also, just another reminder for anybody who might have just wandered in, um, today is the last day to purchase June's uh, solstice-themed, like, solar uh, colors kit on, oh my god, 
words. June's Craft Along Kit. Today's the last day to purchase that over on our website, backtoearthcreations.com. And that's for the $10 and up kits. Because uh, if they get ordered tomorrow, it'll be for in July's colors. Which I think are going to be absolutely beautiful. Ah, Misty says my man just showed up with June's box. Opening it now. <laughs> Christina says feels like a chill day here and there. It is. It's been, I'm not going to lie, it's been a little bustling. But like, it's such an efficient and joyful way today. Like, I don't feel, I've gotten more work done today probably than I have all week. But I feel super relaxed and that's nice like I'll take it right on with you gnome Ah, April says, wanted to let you know, because you had mentioned it in your shop update video, off the hot pink threads, the rose quartz do not appear to have been dyed. That's awesome. Oh, thank goodness. Because, <laughs> like, we had, like, marked the price down on them and everything from, like, like the original listing price we just had be quite low, because I was like, I don't think they're, like, I couldn't tell for certain, so I didn't want to risk it. Right on. April says, they're not as crazy bright, but still a soft, pretty pink. Nice. Ooh, right on. Al Gold Prospecting says, got my cabbing machine rotor today. Very cool. Are you expanding or replacing? Yeah, I got you, April. Now it's going through, and it looks like I think I'm going to pull a strand down of like the 8 millimeter just for myself because I'm quite low in that. And so I'll be able to... Uh, to be able to see for myself. Eye ah, replacing. Very cool. What do you think, Millie Dog? Yeah? Hmm, that's rough. Ooh, I'm gonna do one of these. This is like that mermaid glass that has a nice little flash in there. Anna says, now that I am retired, I am doing all the crafting that I've always wanted to do. That is truly awesome. Yeah, retirement is 100% what you make it, and you can make it crafty, full show. I think Millie has a bottle cap that I'm going to have to take from her. Oh no, Al says, yeah, I was down for weeks. Dude, I feel that, because, like, we just got our, our main kiln back, and so it's it's nice to be back into production. Okay, I'm going to take one of these, and then we'll hook through there, and then we'll hook through there, check and make sure it's, yep, it is as it should be, and then we'll hook through here, making sure that's nice and straight. And then we'll hook through there. Again, making sure it's nice and straight. And this one, like, I mean, it is snug. Because the reason, too, and I, I haven't, um, I didn't mention this because I recorded the tutorial for this this morning and it'll be releasing this coming Thursday, but um, I forgot to mention this. The reason why I attach them horizontally is because now the fold happens vertically as opposed to if I do the bead this away 
and it's under tension, the uh, components, the, the Byzantine on each side, will tend to roll like towards the back or something. So I really wanted to, uh... gosh, that's beautiful. I love that. That's my, me, my favorite so far. But I'm a sucker <laughs> for anything that like flashes. Ooh, Robin says try hand pollination. And that's, I was gonna, but I uh, read recently that um, even with hand pollination, if the temperature's like over, you know, like if it's too hot, it'll uh, sterilize the pollen in the male flowers. Um, so I'm like, mm. might wait for it to cool down a little bit before going back out and uh, doing some hand pollination, <laughs> which I always feel like I need to put on like some Al Green and like a smoky eyeshadow <laughs> or something and like some cute shoes or whatever I go out and hand pollinate my squash. Like, light some candles. <laughs> hmm. I don't recall, Connie. I think it would be surely one of them in the past, like, two months. Ball chain with wire, wrapped wire on each side. And we still have, we're working on, uh, <laughs> it's like, bow chicka wow wow, this is Leslie. But uh, we're, we're working on the tutorial for that one as well. I'm just letting my hand get a little bit better before uh, I push back into wire wrapping. <laughs> Paola says, me too, I'm a magpie, love me some flashy sparkle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm using 10 millimeter beads and it specifically needs that. You can do it with eight, but it's a little floppy. Um, 12 millimeter, right out. Um, 10 millimeter beads um, for our two large rings, I'm using 16 gauge, 1 fourth inch, and for the Byzantine units, I'm using 18 gauge, 3 sixteenths. And I have the bead link made with 18 gauge American wire gauge uh, wire from Parawire. Hey, Rosalie, how's it going? Dee Dee says, have you given those pendants a name? I have not. I have never been good at naming jewelry. I guess this one's Alfred. This one will be Batman. This one will be Robin. Uh, the Joker. The... No, that one's the Riddler. This one will be the Joker. And then... <laughs> Wait, I don't think this is what you meant. Um... Ooh, Gavin says you can run fine misters above the plants if you're concerned about pollen viability on your squash evaporate cooling without the puddling of high output sprays. Right on. Sorry, it's, <laughs> I guess I'm just an overgrown child today because he said fine misters. And I was like, I'm going to have to get a bunch of Antonio Banderas posters to hang above my plants. It's like Vaughn, get your life together. Oh, right on. Yeah, by afternoon the flowers have wilted. Hey, yes? Let's make the after party on. That's true. Well, he said put some fine misters. And he's a fine mister. And you don't let me put pictures of you over my plants because it looks weird. <laughs> do, 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 do. So I'm going to have to behave myself, Randy just scolded me, <laughs> which is fair. But no, genuinely, Gavin, that is a really good idea. I'm wondering how I would irrigate that, though. Because most of the time we don't have too much of trouble with it, but I've been picking a whole lot of... Uh, like shriveled squashes off of the vine and I think it's because they're not getting pollinated. So I'm going to be opening eight for like one side. I do eight. Um, oh Jennifer. <laughs> oh no, no, that no. <laughs> Well, Randy, if you're going to scold me, you've got to scold everybody. I'm not looking at everybody's chat. I'm painting. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Six. Seven. Eight. 
run a line over the row about six to eight feet up, tie the misters to the line. Right on. Oh, that'd be nice. Benjamin says my bees pollinate everything here. My bees are lazy. Well, none of them are mine, they're just visitors. But uh, they've all been hanging out with the bee balm. But uh, I need to do a little better about interplanting uh, flowers to attract pollinators in all the beds instead of just the border beds. Hey pro, how's it going? <laughs> People says don't tie Randy over the plants. I was actually thinking about uh, just stringing up some shade cloth. Because that's, we've got quite a bit of that. <laughs> oh, a <I> bet. <laughs> It's the honeymoon period still, Suzanne. <laughs> We're doing real good pro. How are all y'all? Still doing cleanup? Getting as good a closure as I can on these closed ones. Because really, technique-wise, with chainmail, there's only so many different things you do with the rings, primarily opening and closing them. So, there's not a whole lot of factors to go wrong or go sideways with chainmail. Benjamin says, I got 120,000 bees two months ago. I got stung twice. Woof. Lots of honey. <laughs> Still cleaning up trees. Oh my goodness. Be sure to hydrate and cool off. Heat stroke is no joke. What's up? Oh no. Does it need mixed? Yeah. That is full on dry, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we can salvage that. Here, let me see if I've got a color that's close to it. What you do? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> What'd she do? <laughs> I'm gonna have to rewind a little. Anita says, well, I'm teched up in bed. I'm cold. I've just got a hot coffee. I'm sending lots of heart and lots of emojis to you. <laughs> well, thanks, Anita. Pro says, yeah, I've been working in the morning every other day. Too hot, too humid to do more than that at my age. Right on. Dude, you, it, age or not, it is hot and humid out there. Like, that was gross the other day. <laughs> I see Matthew. 
Okay, I rewound it. That's adorable. I love that kid so much, y'all. You know, even with it being this hot and humid, I'm still like hot coffee. But Randy and Maddie are going to be running some errands during the break. So, uh, he's picking up some iced coffee. Hey, Tracy, how's it going? She says, hello. I'm making some chain mail. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Cha, cha. Do, do, do. Everybody's been talking about how hot it is today, Tracy. How are y'all? How are y'all doing in your neck of the woods? <laughs> it's only a hundred and four heat index today, so much better than yesterday's one hundred and sixteen. Oh my lord. But yeah, I went out in the, earlier, right before the stream, I took frozen two liters to all my rabbits, uh, some cold melon rinds with quite a bit of melon still stuck onto it for the chickens, and I double checked to make sure that everybody had cool water, because man, it heats up, and uh, the rabbits have their little solar-powered CPU fans <laughs> blowing on them. So they're just chilling. Tie dying and listening. It's hot as balls. <laughs> right on, Tracy. <laughs> Rosalinda says a cool 65 in Colorado. Oof. That sounds nice. Jody says, okay, I heard you mention AliExpress. How do you make it not speak Spanish to you? <laughs> I don't know. I've got had it pull up in Italian a couple of times. There should be something. Let me see if I can pull this up. Okay. Because this is, this is a real problem. It's hard to shop in not your native language. Okay, so it should... Unless you're using like a VPN or something like that, um, it should just show up like in whatever your language for like your region. Let me see. It's been such a long time. Okay. So up here, there should be something on the screen that like right here, you'd be able to click on that. Now let me check something real quick. Okay, yeah. And so, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to pop up. Like, I don't want to dox myself. Like, it's not that hard to Google, but, you know. Um, and then you would just select languages there. So, it's that little part up there at the top between wish list and app. And so, once you've messed with that setting, it should just... Should, it should just maintain that. Oh, wow. Well, shout out to all of our lurkers. Just hanging out in the chat. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. Let me get this all situated. Oh, that was the tripod, I promise. <laughs> oh, what is the highest and longest glow product you have found? Um, Is that like glow-in-the-dark stuff? Or my misunderstanding. Right, Simone? I mean, nice sauna out back, though. Just sitting in the shade. Um, probably cost clay works really well. Like, I'm really pleased with their glow-in-the-dark stuff as far as polymer clays go. And then I really like Art & Glow's uh, resin additives that are their glow powders are phenomenal
Oh my gosh. Anna says, when I had chickens, they had an evaporative cooler and an electric fan in the coop and misters around the pen. On hot days, they would line up to be dunked in a tub of water. Chicken spa, right? Ah, hey, Savannah, how's it going? Ooh, right on. Hey, Missouri Fox. Ooh, what's for dinner? I'm going to have to experiment with this with a smaller ring size to try to make some for earrings. That would make me very happy. Oh, can you hear that? That's Millie chewing on her beef bone. Or just like I can feel it in my teeth when she chews on it. But yes. What's the shaky thing on a stick? What shaky thing on a stick? A maraca. Maraca. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you asking about maracas? Because Maddie's been here shaking the paint bottles from the Macarena. A macarena? That's how it is. <laughs> what is it? I can't think of it. <laughs> right on. Okay, I got you. <laughs> yes. Steak and baked beans with steak fries. Nice. Shakes thing on a stick. <laughs> I forgot to ask you if you wanted more of the storage boxes. I saw they made an appearance in the last video. Oh, dude, yeah. Like, let me see. Really? These guys right here, Gavin, are like the coolest because I love how they lock in in the bottom. And that's what I've been using for like keeping track of my earring storage for, um, Oh, what you call it? Uh, like I haven't put tags on them yet, so I don't want to introduce them into um, I, I don't want to introduce them into the rest of my inventory until they have tags on them. Dang it, Millie! Really. Huh? Inventory. Inventory. Oh no. Oh, Jody says now I'm wondering if I got on a bad site. Oh, I don't know. I am not a particularly tech-savvy person, y'all. I'm just very suspicious of everything on the internet, and that, that gets me through the day. Ooh, I'm going to do this one, a faceted rose quartz. <laughs> y'all, like, I got to show you. I can't even be mad at her. She just her bone. What up, little Millie dog? With the wagon tail. What you doing? What's that? What you got? Millie, what you doing? Oh. Yeah? Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. She just sticks her whole nose in the end. <laughs> what are you doing, little Millie dog? Go with your eye boogers. Nom, nom, nom. Millie, Billy, baby, but. Millie, Billy, baby, but. <laughs> you know I love you. <laughs> also, my carpet's filthy. But that's okay. I skipped vacuuming this week because we were lazy. But yeah, so when you hear that horrible noise of the grinding, crunching of the bones, is that little face having a good time? I like I get the eye booger on that side too. Nom nom nom. Her <laughs> floopy jowls, you guys. I can't even. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get up off the floor. I might just hang out here with the dog a little longer. Millie! 
May we dog good? Floop, 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 go to the little ears. Huh? That is wrong. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, I'm gonna. There you go. You're such a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> she used to have food aggression. Oh. Oh. oh my god, you scared the crap out of me. Is that the mailman, Millie? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. That was all like relaxing and stuff immediately up until it wasn't. Oh. Heart attack. Okay, so now that we're all awake, let's get back to crafting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Millie had food aggression when we found her. Um, and so as part of her ongoing training, she has not growled like probably since like two weeks of living with us. Um, but it's, uh, right, well that's, that's Millie's toy. Um, but uh, that's how I train her is um, just I, I'll just take whatever it is that she's got and I'll give it right back to her and pet her and let her know she's a good girl and then uh, like sticking my hands in her mouth when she's chewing on stuff and I go over and like pet her a whole bunch and hand feed her while she's eating and like just to let her know that it's like there is zero threat to anything like if it gets taken for her, it's gonna get given back you know hands are forgiving food not taking it and so I still, like, whenever my young niece is over, um, am real careful to make sure that, like, she leaves Millie alone while she's eating and stuff. But I wanted to give her as much opportunity to be a good, good girl as possible. And that's to just get her used to having no personal space. So, aw. <laughs> Tim says, I'm puppy sitting this weekend, too. I miss having a dog, but I love my two kitties, Olivia and Ginger. Aw. She's just going to get even when you want to sleep in tomorrow that's I haven't slept in since Millie came into our life so it's that's I'm the one getting payback here <laughs> yeah I love her little doggy face too but she always she does get super pouty like the pout is powerful with this one oh my god right on Gavin you do good work ma'am as soon as you've got a website up to direct people to, I'd love to hear about it so I can start directing folks to you. Because these are quality, customizable bead trays. Like, are really hard to find and come by. Especially if it's like an integral system that like lets you organize. You know, I don't know, kind of like coherently. Is that a thing? I'm on the floor and can't get up. Oh, maybe I like the floor. <laughs> Anita. Aw. Shell says, I have Figgy and Zari. Tracy says, is that how you trained Randy for no personal space? Oddly, actually, yes. <laughs> they just, just take whatever he has and give it back to him. Stick my hands in his mouth while he's eating. Um, Yeah. I got bit a little bit, but he, he learned. <laughs> that poor man. <laughs> nah, he still bites if I stick my hands in his... I have to ask permission before just sticking my hands in his mouth. Which is reasonable, you know, I think. Hmm. Okay, so this faceted rose quartz might be a little big. <laughs> Randy's going, who trained whom? Did Randy have food aggression when you found him? Ah, uh, no. He's been a pretty good boy. <laughs> I don't think he had food aggression. I probably had food aggression when he found me. <laughs> yeah, that actually sits real nice. I like that. So the faceted um, fits, but it's quite snug. Oh, Maine Coons are beautiful. He has had all of his shots. Um, he is housebroken. Uh, he doesn't chew on the furniture. <laughs> mm. 
Me, on the other hand, no chair leg is safe. I will chew on it. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Robin says, like your mushrooms and crystals. Uh, those are cost clay. Yeah, the blue and green cost clay are my favorites. Name's Kitty. Nice. But does he mark his territory? Yeah, but outside, though. <laughs> Which, you know, Randy's will be Randy's. You can take the sass out of the, or you can take the squatch out of the woods, but you can't take the sass out of the squatch. Hey, Anna, I'm doing a lot better. It's, I'm having to remind myself to keep doing my stretches and stuff, but it's really nice doing chain mail um, and gripping with my back fingers instead of my frontmost fingers. Four. Ooh. Dee Dee says it's time for margarita. Well, I think I'm just going to have an iced coffee. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Do, 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 Coming through. Okay, that is starting to. Okay, Mary. We play with a different toy. I can feel that in my. She's like, but I was having so much fun, Mom. No, 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 no. Hey, Clary T, how's it going? Oh, thank you so much, Shell. Oh, man, right on, Jennifer. Oh, my gosh. Holly says, I have a baby feral bobcat named Leo. He's great as long as all your attention's on him. If not, he makes the craziest noises. <laughs> Spoiled much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to behave. Ben's going to bed. <laughs> That's all right. Night, night, Ben. Ooh, Tim says those pendants are gorgeous. Just tuned in. Don't even know how you created that. That's a great design. How is the stone held? Well, it's, this is my own twist on a Romanoff design, um, but it's, you know, my addition was with the bail and the little drop down thing and just working out like, it's kind of like knitting where there's like, I made it, but I didn't invent the pattern. Um, the pattern is known as a Romanoff weave, but I did make quite a bit of variation to it um, because sometimes, and I'll show you here in a sec, um, how my Romanoff is a little different from what I usually see titled as a Romanoff. Um, but it's all, it's all pedantic, like just like, oh, right on Sabea. Oh, I'm so glad you've got your bestie to, to babysit for you. But uh, typically in Romanoff, um, we would start with this segment. And then we would, let me, I gotta get the other one made too, sorry. Um, ooh, Anna says, that's good to hear. Had my own hand pain last week when trying to get stuff done for a project. Drawing with an achy hand is no fun. Oh, I bet. I hope you're doing okay, though. Like, probably the absolute hardest thing, for me at least, is actually taking time off to let something heal. Um, it's just a, a, a mental struggle. But the stone is held in these with, I just make it a wire bead link. And now we do have a tutorial coming soon, uh, like probably this coming Thursday, um, on this design. 
Though I'm not certain yet. It may be the weekend after, or the week after. We'll have to see what future Vaughn. No, oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Um, we'll have to see what future Vaughn decides on. I'll set those three off to the side and get some closed. Aww. He's obsessed with her boyfriend. Oh, Sabaya. <laughs> How are you doing, by the way? Are you hanging in there? Thank you so much, Jennifer. <laughs> oh, not everyone. I get, like, uh, I've actually started leaving some of the nasty comments that we get from folks. Like, if they're particularly rude, uh, I will still, you know, delete them from the thing. But, uh, if I'm starting to leave it up, that way it's like, if you won't keep being rude to me, I'm going to keep showing it. But I, I recognize I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm my cup of tea and I'm enjoying it. So... <laughs> Oh, okay, Sabaya says I'm feeling good today, waiting for my specialist to come and see me. Well, I hope they've got good news, or at least some answers. Okay, so here we are with, typically in Romanoff, I would come through and do the split and hook the ring, the large ring through, and then I'd on the next side, I do the split and hook the large ring through and then close it. And so that would frame, we'd have the bead in between these two right here, but I couldn't fit hardly anything in there. <gasps> Maddie! That's it. Can it? I show off? Mm -hmm. Y'all, yeah. look at this. So this is from her Maddie's Paint by Number. Opened up one of the color pots and uh, I don't think there's any like any saving it. No. Um, yeah, you nailed it. Well done. Well, thank you. That's witchcraft. A little bit. <laughs> but uh, I mean, that's beautiful though, just, just like that. Oh, we're gonna have to do a whole bracelet just to that. Well, heck. Um, but then, let's see. I'm gonna scooch, try to find my closure. Where, where did you go? Okay, I see you. Whereas, for what I'm doing, I'm adding an additional bout of... Oh, thank you, baby! I'm adding an additional bit of rings, so two rings onto each end, and so that's going to change the orientation of this side ring to where instead of being facing like this, it's turned to the side. And then I'm going to do that on both ends, on both segments. <laughs> right on, Jennifer. Yeah, ignoring the, uh, you fit into our brew. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah, I, I saw it yesterday. <laughs> Woo! Little Sprite says, hi, jumping on real quick. Hey, Little Sprite. Wanted to say I just put my order in this morning, and I got an email. It was shipped. I'm so excited because I really need the rose quartz I ordered. You are awesome. Right on. Well, we're taking it to the post office. Um, in about 20 minutes, Randy's going to head out and drop it off, so. <laughs> uh, Shell, I'm, I'm wrapping with aluminum right now, or weaving with aluminum. Well, it's, I always try to keep in mind that tone doesn't always convey well through typing, so I try to not take things personally, but also, if I don't like sometimes I internalize it like really hard that like it's like I either don't take it personally at all or it becomes a core memory um 
but I just try to be professional and treat people politely. If, you know, if, if I can't manage more than that, I need to be taking the day off. Um, and I just, I wish people would just, and generally they do, but I wish folks would offer at least the same courtesy in return. But, uh, eh, I, I get my kicks from playing with puppies and weaving train mail. I imagine some folks get kicks from making YouTubers cry, so to each their own, I suppose, but, eh. Okay, so now the next step that I always forget is, because I try doing it if I put the bale on first and then try to insert the stone, um, it's just tricky trying to get the angle. Whereas if I do this step where I'm just hooking it into the center, and then, woo, yeah, and then closing it, then I can just turn it to the other side and do that same thing. And now we can come in with our bail ring and hook, make sure there's no twists, and hook. And then close it. Uh-oh. <coughs> excuse me. Uh-oh. <coughs> Whoa, that's a big one. Okay, excuse me. I'm allergic to having fun. Um... Man, I just sneezed all over my plant. <laughs> like, sorry, plant. Thank you. Oh, that's a really good point, Anna. And then... Yeah, oh, I love that. Boop, boop, boop. But yeah, so... I don't know, is that just a standard Romanoff weave? Because I had tried doing the other way with just a, uh... <laughs> Tim says, geez, that is so intricate, mathematically mind-boggling. <laughs> Man, I'm just a monkey wearing shoes using, like, levers and pulleys and stuff. <laughs> so, like... But yeah, totally, totally digging it. Hydrate, hydrate. We got a whole mess of these to make today, y'all. Like, boom. I want to get all of these made into these. Because so far, I've had a few days, like a few weeks with um mm, where I didn't quite meet my production numbers for dragon like so I'd spend like the first day of the week uh doing you know, kind of catch up but with that catch up day and then you know restarting during the same week uh we've hit our production numbers every week for dragon and I'm really excited to be working on these guys because some of them I'm going to leave as pendants because you'll notice I'm, I'm going to have two of each. And some I'm going to leave just as a pendant and some I'm going to make into a strong necklace. That way we have a kind of sleeker version that we can just string up on a chain and hang on a display. Um, and then we'll have a more ornate version for if folks... Ooh, Heather, that's a really good idea. Stephanie says, did you say you'd have a tutorial for this? Yes, I actually got it recorded this morning. camera put right there um let's see well I don't have two that match so I'm just gonna grab two but I just gonna say I think that is a large earring but they're really nice like and I, I if I were doing this as an earring I probably wouldn't have the bail on there I think that's a perfectly reasonable earring, and I don't have, like, a particularly long neck. Like, I am a turnip person. So, because most long earrings are, like, they'll be, like, sitting on my shoulders. <laughs> it's 
so yeah I'd say that'd work out pretty well now I do want to experiment and figure out um, the ring sizes for using like an 8 or a 6 millimeter or even a 4 millimeter because that'd be really cool um, for like a very petite earring or even like a finger ring so I'm gonna get this with the other earrings behind it it looked like an extra hangy thing and looked neat too ooh right on yeah I love these these are probably my favorite earrings on the planet so far <laughs> just because it's that green like I can't get over it that's like one of my favorite colors of green yeah very celtic -y too going through catching up on yeah we're gonna I don't know if we're gonna do the tutorial this Thursday Stephanie because it's the first weekend of the month is really whenever I want to have um, our booty box like craft along unboxing and then Potomac Beads wants us to do like because they sponsor uh, a video for it like they send us a thing so we do a video on it which I'm digging like I'm really happy with their beads and boxes and stuff um, but they don't want us to post it until after the 10th, but I still need to do it like pretty early. Um, so I'm going to have to, mm, I got a calendar right here. Let's clicky boop. Because also oh, we're getting a second niece, the grown one, who's like 18 now and going to college. She's going to college like an hour from here. And so uh, she's going to be with us for a couple of weeks in July. So yeah, we might do, I think we might do this earring design on either the 6th or the 20th and we'll do our Potomac unboxing on the 13th um, and then because ideally my ideal my ideal video schedule for this month would be on the 6th we'd have our July craft along kit unboxing and project tutorial because that way we've got all month that people can see it and go and order a kit whereas this month everything's just been doobered up sideways so we weren't able to get that out until yesterday um so it'd be the unboxing the potomac unboxing and then a tutorial probably this one and then i'd like to have the leather seat cover done uh and that tutorial finished for the 27th so that's not too bad and then I've started recording some shorts as well <laughs> shirts uh, for for the internet because <laughs> like uh, I want my channel to be successful and I want to be like a billionaire from playing with beads if, if I could like rub a lamp and then be like yeah what do you want I'd be like can I just have all of the money for buying beads without doing anything but playing with beads like that's my my challenge for this round on the simulation is like how can I make ends meet um and hopefully get like Oprah rich off of just playing with beads I'm gonna see if I can do it it's the bead challenge it's gonna take like 30 years but we'll get there um let's get back to work <laughs> so I got, I got beads to buy y'all <laughs> Leslie says I second that same I'm gonna speed run it and let you guys know how it goes send you like tips and stuff <laughs> Jennifer says me too in my dreams right and it's I'll take just making ends meet and y'all help me y'all help us make that happen so I appreciate that tremendously yeah art girl says miss the craft along with Hans, but your hand needs to be all the way well I'm low-key I think a big part of what hurt my hand was doing those itsy bitsy spirals earrings because it's doing that pressure put a lot of tension boop 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 I think that's what did me in was doing a hundred pairs of those earrings no regrets but I will keep that in mind as I move forward shack on some acreage some gardens goats chickens ducks etc right and that's what all of the bead money would be going towards like is I want my acreage I want my critters my plants but I'm pretty happy just right here and then do all the crafty things nice misty like I really want truthfully I really want for Randy to never have to go back and work at a factory again because that was really hard on him because he'll work himself until he breaks his body and that's why he's got like back issues and stuff from whenever he worked for other folks 
but it's it's just not in him to not work hard um and most places just don't pay you to work you know your absolute hardest all day every day yeah anita says you're rich with love from your crafters money comes out later yep it's i i do i do feel blessed in ways that money cannot buy and so but it'd still be nice to like <laughs> not have to worry you know about money but we're working on it four five six seven eight yeah <laughs> that's a good way of putting it Anna says most employers still expect the impossible from you for a handful of peanuts yeah <laughs> Benjamin says on a farm you have no time for crafting in the summer yeah but crafting's nice in the winter anyhow and I figure as my eyes and my hands give out I can still throw chicken scratch <laughs> Lynn says you have to charge more yeah <laughs> Oh no, Jennifer says, I keep buying and making, but I'm terrible about listing items for sale. I have over 500 items made and not listed. Oof. Oh, Jody says, I watched your tutorial that you did with putting grooves into the stone pieces. I get my grinder tomorrow. I'm so excited. After this, I'm going to back and watch your wiring of gemstones. Oh, Jody, it's, it's amazing. I hope you love your grinder. What kind of grinder did you get? Ooh, Jennifer says, do you have any glow-in-the-dark moons? If not, when will you have some? Hopefully soon. I don't know why I have the Mr. Hanky song stuck in my head. But, I mean, I guess it's almost July. It makes sense for me to start singing Christmas songs. Yeah, crafting in the winter is the best under a heated blankie. Perfection. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Fish lady says, I was actually excited yesterday when I got a steroid shot in my shoulder and the doctor said, don't lift anything heavy for three to four days. I said, what about a small pair of pliers? He said, that's an odd question. It's like, yo, I got needs. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. April says, I'm very blessed to work for a company that treats and pays us well. They just put in an employee cafe that and are selling fresh prepared meals at their cost. Wow. That's amazing. That is blessed. <laughs> it's the bay of good. Misery loves company. <laughs> Anna. A grinder three stained glass grinder by Petnoglass Lapidary. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a real nice one. Well, I hope it works out real well for you. I've been pretty happy with our Griffette grinder. It's just a little guy, but it's working out better than what our Glass Star grinder did. Because I burnt through one of those about every six to eight months. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but whatever I was doing, the Glass Star doesn't seem to mind it. <laughs> Erica says, I got my cortisone shot on my wrist this morning, so I'm going to milk it. Can't cook dinner. <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> supposed to be whisper quiet that'd be cool yeah I still wear ear protection with the Griffat grinder um, just cuz motor noise aside um, that just the noise of the grinder on the glass itself I can feel it in my teeth Do, 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 do
do resin pieces take grooves? Yes, but you gotta be careful because the heat, like I would not use my glass grinder to add grooves. Um, I would have, I'd want something with a variable speed um, so I can go much slower and the resin just gunks up onto the bits. So I actually, if I were hand, I would hand groove resin. Um, it just because at those higher temperatures, it just melts the resin to it. Ooh, Jody says, I've heard you talk about kilns. Do you have tutorials about the glass pieces that you do? Uh, yeah, we do have some. Now, a lot of what we do is all kind of baking the same way. It's just, um, uh, bye, Dee Dee. Thanks for hanging out. Um, oh, so stretching. Give me a sec. Um, most of the glass tutorials that I have are just these are the colors that I'm using, and this is how I used them, and this is how they came out. But if, like, I still feel even though I've been doing it, doing glass daily since May 2020, um, I still feel quite like a beginner. Uh, but I will try to be helpful to you, uh, in any way that I can if you have any questions. Oh, Mary Hart, uh, Big Blue had cr severe corrosion on the, um, like, little connector pieces where the wiring hooks up to the heating elements. I think were those called the relays, maybe? But severe, severe corrosion, and I was trying to fix it, and I just broke the heating element completely, um, which sucked. <laughs> like, I can actually show y'all now. Field trip. Okay, coming in here. So it was in this section of the box that the wiring from in here comes like up and through and then connects to the heating element. So there's four relays in here that had a whole bunch of corrosion on them. And so I think I'm too short to lift this. Eek. Ooh. Okay, and so you can see here, those are the heating elements that are coming in right there and most kilns like I think this is called a ball groove uh like because it goes in and then there's like that gap in there uh that the heating element nestles into um and I was gonna have to get in there and like cut up the heating element and turn it with pliers and pull it out without breaking this fragile fire brick I mean, it's not too fragile, but whenever I'm messing about in there with pliers and stuff, and then I'd have to put it back in. Um, and I was just like, God, I don't want to have to do that. And so we tried to take it off. We took off this top lid with, we undid the bolts. And we this, so this piece up here is completely new. They redid all of the bricking on the inside like all of that's new pieces because we had like cracks and different things going on and so that's all repaired um but the lid when we took it off the, uh, the just flakes like if we had waited like maybe another six months it was just going to be completely eaten through held together almost just by the paint on the outside so ooh, yeah you can almost kind of see down in there those little ceramic elements those are where the little like relays connect in. Oh, you can see them, hello. And they're not corroded yet. But yeah, I was trying to loosen the bolt and it just like burnt. So we drove down to Texas. Oh, where's the little memory dog? Where's the memory dog do? Oh, sorry. So we drove down to Texas to see um, my niece Abby graduate. And she was graduating from like the Dallas-Fort Worth area and Paragon Kilns is in Mesquite, Texas. And so, boy, boy, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Give me them eye boogers, girl. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Floppies. But yeah, so we so we dropped off the kiln um, in Mesquite and then paid to have it shipped back, which costs like more than getting it repaired, um, almost. So, but that's okay. We got it all taken care of 
and it's back now so we received it through the freight shipping yesterday and um i'm really glad to have our kiln back because like the cf 14 has little blue it's giving us trouble like i think there's something wrong with the thermocoupling but it's only a month old and i'm kind of grumpy about that because it's like it shouldn't be screwing up and i don't know if i'm doing something wrong so is that from use yeah i think so i mean we fired the kiln we ran the kiln You're not doing wrong. do you not think so babe no okay randy's very upset about it actually <laughs> like um we ran big blue almost every day for um, for for three years so uh yeah i think it i think it was from use but now i know to go in and i think we're going to do a quarterly um just maintenance checkup on the kiln and that way i can like take the thing off and check the relays and um make sure that there's no corrosion because if i can keep that connection clean um then i can replace the relays without breaking the heating elements because i don't and y'all i even called like i was calling around to different kiln repair folks like and there's nobody closer than like two or three hours uh who and one of the folks that i had on the phone they were like well it's simple and i'm like this isn't a heating element that attaches with pins this is an a, a ball groove like inset heating element and he was just like 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 hey I, I don't know i don't like getting to i know i don't I know I don't know what I'm talking about, but you don't have to talk to me like I'm stupid. Like, and he, they were just like, well, it's simple. And I was, I, and I had been frustrated to tears a couple of times. And so it's like, I realize it probably is real simple, but I would pay money to have, I did pay money to have someone else do it. Cause I was like, I can't. Um, and then, and then we have this little thing that like, you put one end on one end and you put the other end on the other end and it goes like, boop, and I still, I can figure out how to use that. It is time. Okay, guys. Any last minute questions? Where did you get the large tool chest from? I really like those. On Black Friday sales, almost every year for a while, we would go and buy one for like, they were like $500, but totally worth it. And you can put a film on top of it. You can put a ton of stuff like in each drawer, like not like a literal ton, but like a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, Hybrid Freight has some really good ones, but I, I really liked the, the ones from Lowe's because our friend works at Lowe's. So he'd be like, yeah, they're on sale, come and get one. And we we're like, okay. So we'd go and we'd get one, but um, we've got four of them and I love them because they hold so much heavy stuff, like all of our glass, all of our wire. Um, I don't understand why you should have to deal with that in the first place. My thoughts are humidity causes the corrosion and moisture is found anywhere. Yeah, I, I think that's the problem. Um, okay. Just a moment. Sorry, Randy came over and he was like, I need you to write the thank you note in this order. Thank you, honey. Do you want your pen yeah, back? back? Yep. Um, I need only one, so totally. Right on. But, uh, but yeah, we are going to go. We are going to have our break. I'm going to take the dogs running about. Ooh, what am I saying? Where on earth is the time dog? Dude, I don't even know. Like, do not even know. But it trickles, it trickles by that sand in the hourglass. But uh, so you may as well play in it while it's falling, I guess. But uh, yeah, probably in the after party, we're just going to be making even more of these. So um, be sure to keep an eye out for if you're a YouTube channel member, there you'll get like the YouTube notification. And if you're through Patreon, um, you'll get the Patreon notification and everybody signed up in the, as the ha everyone signed up through the Happy Crafter Club will get an email sent out to you. So um, and that'll be coming at around five o'clock, that email will. So if, if you guys will see us in the after party, we'll see you there. If not, we will see you Monday for our shop update. And I think that's everything. But yeah, y'all have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next time. So until then, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. Coffee!